Yeah. Well, Carl, I think the reaction at the end on Saturday said it all. It was almost, how did we not get at least a replay out of that? Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a very frustrating afternoon all round. Um, as you all can see, we had, we had a lot of the ball um, and did very little with it really uh, in the final third. Um, so yeah, um, no, no, lack, no lack of uh, effort or desire, uh, but a lack of quality certainly. Although you didn't win, does it actually say that the balance of the team is right and the method is right overall though? Um, I think we've got a good balance to the team, uh, definitely. Um, I thought we were well in control of the game, although we had, we had to you know, rush in the gap, I said at half time, just, just be careful of the counter attack um, when we're, not, we're in possession of the ball. Um, but I think the balance and the, the method of trying to win games is, is correct. Um, but like I say, it's, the, it's not the, the endeavour or the desire. Um, it, it was certainly the quality Saturday that, that let us down. Football doesn't wait, though, does it? Another game Tuesday. No, that's a, that's a positive. Um, you know, let's get it right. Our ambition is to win the league. Um, the FA Cup's a great little run to go on. You know, I've been fortunate to have a, have a few myself. Um, but the league's the, the ambition and, and Tuesday night's a massive game for us. You've got a sequence of matches now, the Forest Green game apart against teams in the bottom half. Has Gary spoken about, about that run at all? Yeah, we, we always speak about it. You know, Rush brings it up quite often, um, the teams that we are, we are playing. Uh, but, you know, we've already been uh, found out at Old Tringle. Uh, they were struggling at the time and we went there and dominated the game and, and lost 2-1. Um, so, you know, there's no easy games. No, it's a cliche. Uh, we've got to go through every game, preparing properly. And, uh, and tomorrow night is a massive game. Um, so uh, I believe Forest Green they got Dover. Do they play Dover? Welling. Uh, they play Welling. They got Dover soon, don't they? Yeah. Yes. Forest Green Saturday. So um, you know we, we've got to be you know waiting in the wings for them to slip up. So obviously there's a point difference so far. Uh, but it's a big game tomorrow. In terms of um, Gary's mentioned about this sort of mini league amongst the challenges at the top, but the key is you don't falter against the sides further down. Yeah, massively. Uh, we've done well against um, the teams. In the playoff area, or you know, I know Wrexham, um, sort of a bit lower in the playoffs, but we, we've done well against them. Um, but it, it's, it comes down to how we prepare on the day and um, tactics. And you know, we know teams are going to come to Walling Road and uh, or the World of Smile um, Stadium, if you like, um, and, and get beyond the ball. And tomorrow night's going to be one of them games that we've got to be patient. Um, we can't afford to have 15, I think, Saturday attempts on goal. and and um, fall on target. We, we've got to convert a lot more of them chances. Uh, that's not just our strikers, that's midfielders, and uh, obviously set plays where, where our defenders go up. So we've got to be patient, and you know we've got to, we've got to stop putting the ball in the back of the net. Uh, Bromley and Barrow, you've played the two two of the promoted sides. Both made mm. things pretty awkward, although you've won both matches. Any clues as to what guys they will do? Well, I've, I've you know been fortunate to play against guys here quite a few times. Uh, you know, we them on any days. Um, and they were a good football inside back then in the Conference North. Um, you know, look at their league position and our league, league position. Uh, I think they're going to come back and come to Warren Road and, and make it, you know, very awkward for us. Um, they will probably see that we create many chances and not converting as many as we should at, at this moment in time. Uh, so it'll be a very, uh, you know, very patient game, similar to the Braintree one, I'd imagine. Um, it's down to us to uh, you know, find that key to knock the door. It's interesting that you used to mention that because Braintree, Eastley, actually the Barrow game to some degree, it, it, it is about trying to find a, a, a way through. It is, but it's it's trying to find a way through, but we've got to be sensible that you know, we're not letting anyone at the back. Um, you know, I think we, we have a tendency to um, try and all want to get on the ball and make things happen, and that's a willingness just to want to do well for the club. And sometimes um, we we'll leave them gaps open um, for teams to exploit us. So it's important to have a, have a, have a right balance, um, you know, have a right go at them, and uh, convert our chances while keeping the door shut at the back. Just one more. Uh, I saw one manager after one of the cup ties on Sunday say, after his team lost, it was quote a big pickup situation. Is it a big pickup situation for you? I mean, you lost, but you know, it, it, it was against the league team, and it was only one 0 yeah, it's quite funny really because um, we was on the journey on the way back and I said to Down seat, um, although we lost it, 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 it feels like the shock, it feels like the shock that they beat us because um, that's how in control of the game well, I certainly felt we were, um, you know, in possession of the football. Um, a big pick me up, um, no, it, it, it you know, stops our unbeaten run, 
uh, of eight games, I believe it was. Um, but we just got to get back on the bike and we go again. Um, you know, and this season we've done very well at bouncing back after we've had a bit of a setback. So uh, long may that continue, and uh, you know, it's a massive game tomorrow night. If we can win tomorrow night, then uh, it puts Saturday to bed a little bit. What was that the angriest you've seen the manager after a game this season? Well, we've seen him pretty angry at, at times, you know, when we've not been playing well. Um, I think he was more more disappointed uh, for us in terms of the FA Cup opens a lot of doors for individuals um, and obviously the finance for the club. Um, so yeah, don't get me wrong, the, the gaffer was you know, pretty all set and he got every right to be, but the players share, share that, um, share his emotions. Because uh, we felt we sort of, you know, we let him down Saturday. We should have won that game. We know we should have won that game. Um, but it wasn't to be. But we've got to bounce back Tuesday and uh, no point feeling sorry for ourselves. Yeah, a lot of time to, to think on the way back, isn't there? But I suppose the moment you, 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 you get off the bus, it's time to sort of put that to bed almost. Yeah, well, we watched the game straight back on the coach yeah. on the way back, and, you know, we marked ourselves individually. Um, you know, we, did we see the game in the same way the gaffer did? And, you know, we all agree we did. Um, so that's obviously down to the players. But like I say, Tuesday night comes, uh, comes fast. Um, and that's always a bonus in football when you've got a game just around the corner. So, yeah, uh, happy to be playing tomorrow night and hopefully uh, put Saturday behind us. You mentioned the need to be patient. You've also got to try and probably balance that with not taking maybe two or three passes too many, which perhaps, the, perhaps is the problem, in the, especially in the first half at, at, at Hartlepool. Yeah, I, I thought they, um, they gave us a lot of respect um, and they sat off us. Uh, I was saying to Asa this morning, um, it's probably the first time this season I've been able to sort of drop quite deep to get the ball because they were sitting off us in a way that probably um, probably weren't affecting the game enough as a, as a midfield four because um, how deep we dropped to get the ball but they were allowing us to do it so you know automatically you're going you're gonna to be doing that as a player but um, it were not till late in the second half where we started putting balls into the box being more direct getting crosses in that you know we had them on the ropes a little bit but obviously it wasn't to be long and the keepers made some un unbelievable saves um, and obviously we hit the bar at the end but yeah, probably a bit more direct in what you're saying in our method, um, and obviously not dwelling on the ball and you know, um, you know taking our time with it. Is that the secret, especially for for a team that is going to put a lot then behind the ball to, to to get lots of crosses, get lots of balls in the box, and, and we have lots of people in the box. Yeah, that intent, I think yeah, I think well, intent's a good word. I think Gaffer used it, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of intent. Um, I don't think we had the intent to um, attack um, Saturday or intent to score at least. Um, but a team that puts a lot of men behind the ball, it's important to stretch them, you know, pull them all over, all over the place, you know, break lines, put balls into the striker's feet where you know it takes their midfield out, get it wide, get numbers in the box. I don't think we had enough numbers in the box Saturday. I can remember the ball going wide to Barch and George quite a lot. And, you know, we've only got right in the box. Um, you know, I think that's where we miss Amari. He's always you know sniffing around the six-yard box and. Um, yeah, so numbers in the box is massive for us, um, but we, we've got to, like I said, we've got to be a bit, little bit more direct in our play um, and be, be more effective in, in their box. You probably know Murray as, as well as anyone. How has he sort of taken the news? He's he must be pretty down. Yeah, he is down because you know he's, he's a big, you know, he's a big player for us, but he's a big character around the place. Um, you know, when, when you see him on the team, you see what you could do this season. But you know, especially against Wrexham, you know, them sort of, you know, when the under the cosh a little bit and. He's pulled a worldie out there, you know, that's what you can do. Um, but, you know, let's get it right, Billy's coming in, he's doing a good job. Um, I think they're, they're a different sort of striker. Um, you know, Amara's got the experience of playing at this level, he's playing, you know, League One, League Two, and um, he would have been massive for us Saturday. But, um, yeah, you know, chin up for Morgan, so he'll get back in, he'll get back in the fold as soon as possible. Cheers, mate. All right, thank, thank you. you.